Hello everybody. So today I will talk about accounting. The topic today is about journalite. So now I will show you how to answer. We have 10 transactions in here. So the first one we need to do that's about journalite. So I will create about transaction represent about the number 1 to 10. The next one we need to concentrate that's about account name. The next one that's about debit and credit. Now about transaction number one, Wanda, the owner invests forty thousand U.S. dollars into her business, Ark Me Company. So in this situation, account name number one, we need to know that's about cash. The next one that's about capital, and the uh, owner is about Wanda. So. About cash, we have 40,000 and similar for this one. So because the debit should be equal to credit, that's why the value should be same. And we can write in here to recall the capital. Now, transaction number two, purchase equipment on credit for 10,000 US dollars. This is on credit. That means we don't have enough money, so we just all about the money in here. So we have about equipment. The next one, that's about accounts payable. So for this one, we have 10,000 we put in here, 10,000 we put in here. So this is about to recall the payment of equipment. So this is about transaction number two, transaction number three does work for a customer and immediately receive 3000 so that means we just receive about the cash and that this one that should be about service revenue so this one should be about 3000 and this one should be about 3000 so this one to recall the receipt from the customer number four transaction number four the does work for another customer for four thousand and sends them a bill that means the customer did not have enough money to pay about the service so that means we use about accounts receivable the next one that's about service revenue. So this one we have four thousand. Four thousand. So to build the customer. Now number five. Purchases office supplies for one thousand five hundred. So that means we have about the supply in here. But we need to use about cash. So we need to put about 1,500. And this one should be about 1,500. The answer for this one does the about to recall the payment for the for the supplies now about transaction number six we receive about payment of 2500 from customer in number four abroad that's it from here 
but we just received about the payment is about 2500 so that should be about cash and we need to reduce about accounts receivable in here so that should be about 2500 and this one should be about 2500 and this one that's it about to recall the receipt from customer number four now let's go to number seven about this one we pay assistant 1000 so about this one that's about salary expense and this one we need to use about cash and we know that this one we have 1000 1000 so that's about to recall the payment for assistance now let's go to the next one transaction number eight we pay rent so about this one that's about rent expense and we need to use about cash this one we have 1200 and this one we have 1200 to recall the payment of rent and the last one oh sorry number nine and we have base 4000 to arms equipment purchases in number two so in number two that's about accounts payable so that that's mean we need to reduce about accounts payable and we use about cash to buy about this one and that should be about 4000 4000 this one to recall the payment for equipment in number 2 now the last one Test out 200. This is about withdraw. And uh, we need to use about Wanda. We have 200. 200. And this is about cash. And uh, we need to put about to recall the withdraw. So after we finish about this one, about journalize, we go to question number two. We put them into the ledger. Now we can use about T accounts in here. For transaction number one, we have cash and capital. So about cash, they are on the debit. So we put number one in here, represent about transaction number one. And we put about 40,000 in here. Later that, about capital, we go in here. We put number one, and that's about 40,000. That's about transaction number one. Now, let's go to number two. We have equipment. So, that should be on debit. And we put about number two in here. And that's about 10,000. About accounts payable, we put 10,000 in here. And that's about transaction number two. Number three, we have cash. Cash is about in here. And that should be on debit. And service revenues, we have 3,000. So we put 3,000 in here. And that's the transaction number three. Now let's go to number four, account receivable, service revenue, 
account receivable on debit. So we put 4,000 gold here. And we put number 4. And this is about service revenue. We put 4,000 gold here. And this is number 4. Now, number 5, supplies. We have supply in 1,500. So that's it on debit. So this is about transaction number 5. And we have 1,500 on cash on credit. And this is about number 5 in here. So I move a little bit. So this is about 1,500 in here. Now let's go to next one. We have cash on number 6. And that's about 2,500. Account receivables. We have 2,500 in here. And this is on credit. And we put about number 6. Now let's go to number 7. We have salary expense. That's it on debit. We have 1,000 gold here. The transaction number 7. And we need to use about cash. That should be about 1,000 gold here. And we put about number 7. Number 8. We need to use about cash again. And that's it about rent expense. Now, the next one, number 9, we need to use about cash to buy about accounts payable. So account payable, that's it on debit. And we put number 9 in here. And that is about 4,000. So this one for cash. So we put cash in here. And this one, that's it about number 9. And the last one, withdrawals. So we have 200. We put in here. That's about number 10. And we need to use about cash. And we put number 200 in here. Now we need to find the balance. So we sum on the number gone here. Minus the total in here. And this is the balance for cash. About this one is bigger, so we have the balance in here. So this one minus this one. The equipment, we just have about 10,000. Similar for this one. For this one, that's about the sum of 3,000 plus 4,000. Now, this one is bigger than this one, so the balance should be in here. And we have 10,000 minus this one. Capital. So we have about this number in here. With Ross, we have this one in here. And this one, that's it about this one in here. And the last one. And now we just finish about the question number two. Now the question number three, they want to create about the balance sheet. To do about this one, we need to create about the income statement. Now, I will put the company in here. That's about add me company. And I will choose about the end of month, 30th April, 31st, uh, 30, sorry. 
30, 2022. So the first thing we need to do, that's about revenue. We just have only one revenue, that's about service revenue. And I will put about 7,000 gold here. Now, the next one, that's about expense. We have only two expense. That's about salary expense. And rent expense. So we put about 1,000 gold here. 1,200 in here. And we have total expense. That's about the sum of two number in here. Now we can calculate about net income. Net income that should be about the revenue minus the the expense. And you got about the net income of this table in here. So after we create this table, we go to owner equity. So we use the same, this one in here. Now, the next one we need to write, that's about net income beginning. At the beginning, we don't have anything. You got about zero. Now, we need to add about this one. So net income ending. Net income ending, that's about this number in here. We have 4,800. Now, the next one, that's about capital. The capital in here, that's about this number, 40,000. So we put 40,000 gold here. And now, we need to deduct. That's about withdraw. Withdraw, we just have only 200. And now we can find about the owner equity. So that's it about the sum of this one. Plus this one. And we got about the value of the owner equity. After we create everything, now we can go to balance sheet and the ended month April 30, 2020. The first thing we need to do that's about access. About the assets, we know that the first thing that should be about cash. So I will put about cash in here. That's about this number. Next, we need to know account receivable. About account receivable. That is about this balance in here. So we have 1,500. The next one, equipment. About equipment, we have this number in here. That's about 10,000. The next one, we need to know that's about office supplies. We have 1,500. And now, yeah, we just finished everything. Now we have the total assets. That's it about the sum of all the value in here. And now we go to liabilities and equity. 
about liability, we just have only accounts payable. About accounts payable, we just have about this one six thousand. So we put six thousand gold here. And owner equity. We just calculate in here. Now we find about the total liability and equity. So we sum on two numbers in here. And we see that this one is equal to this one. And this is about the correct answer of the question in here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.